Okay, everybody. So it looks like we've got ourselves a little bit more cartoon mayhem. And I, of course, refer to this story, which I want to talk you through. And it relates to the um, grammar school. Yeah. yeah, apparently there's the odd grammar school still exists, amazingly. Uh, and a grammar school teacher here has been suspended, the BBC reports, after a Muhammad cartoon protest. And this, this is, um, so this is what has happened, basically. It says that a teacher has been suspended following this inappropriate cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad. Um, is he a prophet? Muhammad, is, is that, uh, why does he have to be called the prophet? Muhammad, the prophet, I mean, he's a prophet, but okay, set, set aside BBC dimitude. Uh, BBC uh, video shows dozens of people standing in front of Batley Grammar School calling for the teacher to be sacked. In a statement, the school then has, has apologised unequivocally and the lesson has been withdrawn. A member of staff has been suspended. Suspended, um, And then this is what the headmaster, this is quite worth, uh, I wanted to talk about this. The school, this is the headmaster, the school unequivocally apologizes for using a totally inappropriate resource in a recent le lesson. The member of staff has almost also given their most sincere apologies We've immediately withdrawn teaching on this part of the course, and we are reviewing how we go forward with the support of all the communities represented in our school. It's important for children to learn about faith and beliefs. Mm, maybe not all of them, eh, Gary, but this must be done in a sensitive way. Define sensitive, Gary. What's sensitive? What's not sensitive? And then in a letter to school, Mohammed Sajjad Hussein said he'd been deeply hurt by the use of, quote, insulting caricatures at the school. And he finishes by saying that their organization wouldn't work with the school unless, unless the teacher was permanently suspended. So there you have the story, folks. Uh, apparently, the uh, cutting to the heart of this, the teacher used a couple of, uh, of the Charlie Hebdo um, cartoon imagery. Now, here's the thing in this one. I I'm not sure what business it is of the that particular charity spokesperson what goes on within the school if it's being taught as part of the curriculum then it's perfectly fine if it's not being taught as part of the curriculum then okay why is it being taught but there's a deeper point isn't there and the deeper point is this that we all remember what happened in paris as a consequence of the charlie hebdo cartoons we remember the massacre and of course, that was all about the Charlie Hebdo people seeking to um, basically demonstrate uh, that you know free speech must be allowed. But it appears that in Batley Grammar School, uh, when it comes to discussing that you mustn't even discuss free speech in regard of one particular religion, because to do so, it's going to result in the uh, headmaster having to issue groveling apologies, member of staff being suspended, and the whole the whole sort of uh, caboodle uh, around all of this, the outrage. Here's a question. Can you imagine if a Christian group took, ex took exception to, let's say, for argument's sake, evolution being taught in school, and they were grossly offended? at the teaching of evolution. Would the school then say, yes, we get it. Look, we've instantly suspended that part of the, um, the, the, the course, of the science course. And from here on in, we will make sure that we deal with evolution in a sensitive way. Can you see that happening? Because I can't for one second. And nor would I want to for that matter. I believe young minds should be exposed to all kinds of opinions they can make their own views. That's what it's all about. It's about not um, censoring just because somebody somewhere or some group somewhere or indeed one faith somewhere doesn't want to have different opinions expressed. So if we censor ourselves to accommodate others, the only lesson we're showing is that unfortunately censorship prevails. Do you agree with this? Let me know in the comments below and I'll speak with you folks real soon.